Hey, what's up, y'all? It's George. Cody. We're Waterloo Revival, and you're watching Bull Sessions in the Scap Live studio. Waterloo Revival. Welcome back to Portland. Glad to be here. You guys excited? Uh, you guys have been just all over yeah. doing a, a radio tour, all over radio stations. I want to know, what has been the, the weirdest uh, experience you've had playing on this tour? Any, any th awkward moments that you could share? Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Let me first start by saying that this is the best stop for a radio tour, hands down. We got an Seriously. audience, we got mics, we got just a great room that's amazing. So huge thank you to the Bull and Scott Lounge for putting this on because that's huge for us. Um, we tour the country and it's kind of, they call it a radio tour. It's, you know, we go to every radio station and say, hey, we're a brand new band. We're called Waterloo Revival. This is our music. Nice to meet you. And a lot of the times they will put you uh, in a conference room and it's like you and one program director. Uh, who's the person that makes decisions on what kind of music goes on to the radio station. So a lot of times, you know, it'll be us in a conference room singing that we've got it bad for, like, the one guy sitting across from us at the table. So <laughs> that can be pretty interesting. But they also, there are several radio stations that put on awesome things like this where we get to go connect with listeners, have a good time, tell stories, and have fun. So, yeah. Now, um, you guys have actually... You're a new band in terms of to the public, but you guys have been playing together for a while, and yeah. you actually grew up together, right? So I've known this guy over here for like... Entirely too long. Yeah, 15 uh, years. Yeah, I'd I met in middle school, I guess, sixth grade, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw Cody carrying around a guitar, and I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. And so um, I bothered him for about two years until he finally agreed to teach me how to play guitar. And so um, we've been writing songs together ever since. And um, a little bit ago, I'd say eight months ago, we just signed our first record deal um, with Big Machine Records, which has been really cool for us. Um, we were playing in Austin, working desk jobs, and we got a call from Toby Keith's manager, and he said, I'm flying into Austin to see you guys play, which was the coolest thing in the world. I love that. Where'd you get that? <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> well, um, he flew into Austin to see us play, and um, he ended up signing us on the spot. And he was like, those desk jobs you guys have, that's over. You're moving to Nashville, and you're going to come try to make it. And so um, we did, and uh, two weeks later, we got a call from a guy named Scott Borchetta, who is the president of Big Machine Records um, and has worked with some artists that we grew up listening to, Taylor Swift, Tim McGraw, Rascal Flatts, stuff like that. And so um, it took us about 30 seconds to agree to that, and uh, our lives haven't been the same yet. This is, uh, this is the part of the show we call stalling. We have a little technical uh, problem with the guitar, so... <laughs> My guitar doesn't want to make it, any sound. It may sound. sound like they were singing a cappella, but uh, no, we're just uh, getting the guitar fixed up so we can actually hear that when you watch it uh, later on YouTube and, and everything. Do we make a good a cappella group? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Barbershop. Hey, man, if you join in. Waterloo Revival and Tonics will be the name. We'll do it. We'll just call it that. Um, I got to ask you because, uh, George, you're, you're married, right? Yeah. What is the, uh, what's the last thing you fought about with your wife? So... Um, in order for us to do this, I had to find a really amazingly cool girl that, uh, you know, she's let stuff roll off her back. She's not jealous. She's super supportive. And that's like being out on the road all the time. Like, that's what you need. Right. Um, and so not much. I mean, I think it's tough. Like, we'll go out 20 days at a time, things like that. So, you know, the only thing that ever kind of gets between us is just not getting to see each other enough. Um, but, you know, that doesn't happen very often. I guess we did get in a fight the other day. Um, I was home in Nashville, and we were going out to get some Mexican, fu Mexican food at Chewy's Restaurant. And uh, I wanted to go out in my sweatpants and sandals. <laughs> and so <laughs> she turned me around to get changed. So I guess that was the last disagreement. That's called getting into. wifed. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what happens. You gotta, it's the, the whole check up from the neck up and yes. down in every which way but loose. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> Normally well, it's you look great like, today, by the way. I, I would you. say that. Yeah. Nor I, I dressed myself this morning, but normally it's like I want to wear the shorts, and then I've got the, the dad shoes on and, like, socks, you know, all the way up to the knees. If you're wearing that today, Is no, that not a no cool offense. Look? Am I, I doing something look. wrong? <laughs> um, so uh, talk about, like, where are you guys? Are we good to go, by the way? Are we good? Yeah, we're awesome. So who would like to hear me ask more questions or who would like to hear them play more music? Which would you prefer? More all right, music. All we'll right. do that. Hey, give it up for B Dub for that stall, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, this is awesome. all smoke and mirrors <laughs> over here, guys. Like, <laughs> wait a second. There's a mic that just magically appeared while we were talking. Hey, make some noise one more time here at the Skype Live Studio with 98.7 The Bull for Waterloo Revival. Thanks, guys.